Well, greetings from Bishop Fenwick. Welcome back to the vlog. This edition of Tuesdays with Tom, I'm coming to you from my back corner office because I had to find a quiet place today. So much testing going on. My gosh, we have AP tests happening this week, senior exams taking place. So I, I didn't want to disturb anyone. Uh, oh, speaking of seniors, by the way, our thanks to all the parents of the extraordinary class of 2021 for your amazing job last Friday, celebrating the last day of classes for our seniors. What an awesome breakfast. What a wonderful afternoon of food trucks. Just a grand and glorious day for these seniors who have been through so much. And I'm also here in my back corner office because uh, there's a little bit of an echo in here. And today is May 4th, Star Wars Day. You know, no, I am your father. Well, I'm, I'm not exactly James Earl Jones, but you get the idea, a little bit of an echo. So I started thinking about Star Wars and some of the awesome quotes that I, I remember from watching those films. Never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds, says Han Solo. Um, I think about that, oh, just over a year ago. If someone would have said to all of us, well, uh, here's what the next 14 months of your life experience is going to look like. Um, good luck with that. Uh, I wonder what the odds were of us making our way through it. I, I don't know if I would have wanted to know. But here we are. It's May and it's spring. And indeed, <laughs> despite the odds, we're making our way through. Do or do not, there is no try. This is Yoda, right? Do or do not, there is no try. Certainly we encourage our uh, young women and men to try their best, whether it's uh, preparing for the exams that some of them are taking now, uh, competing out on the field, in our spring sports, or or doing a variety of things like maybe running for uh, SAC office later this spring or considering taking a uh, maybe a lead role in a fine arts production next year. And yet there's also wisdom in Yoda. There's don't try. We do or we do not. We commit or we do not. We resolve or we do not. Um, now we've shown tremendous resolve and commitment this year. Yoda, when gone am I, the last of the Jedi will be you. The force runs strong in your family. Pass on what you have learned. The force runs strong in your family. Pass on what you have learned. It's really extraordinary here at Bishop Fenwick, the bonds, not just in our Fenwick family between you know, classmates and teammates and among faculty and staff, but we are blessed to have young people who feel tremendous connections to their own families. The family bonds, the family connections, the family relationships that I see here at Fenwick, whether it's a, you know, what I saw last Friday uh, by the senior parents, or just uh, at any uh, performance uh, in the fine arts or a competition in the athletic realm, so many parents and guardians and uncles and aunts and grandparents cheering on these young people and these young people feeling appropriately so a tremendous amount of, of, of gratitude uh, to all of the people and their families who have helped to make them and shape them into who they are this day. Uh, the Fenwick family made up of so many good families in whom the force runs strong. Princess Leia, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. You're my only hope. I think that's what I pray every morning at Mass <laughs> to God, right? You're my only hope amidst all that's happening. Um, maybe this is a moment for us, too, to think about who, who and what are our sources of hope? Who do we turn to for hope? Uh, I, I know that I turn to your sons and daughters. Uh, they give me hope every day. Uh, just by the way that they are with each other. And speaking of uh, maybe a faith in light of Star Wars, what does Obi-Wan Kenobi say, right? 
The force will be with you always. The force will be with you always. How many times in the gospel readings in this Easter season do we hear Jesus say, do not worry. Do not be afraid. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And what does he say at the end of Matthew's gospel? And know that I am with you always until the end of time. May the force on this May 4th, and more importantly, may the grace and peace and presence of God be with you this week and always. Take care.